Well, welcome once again to Church on the Beach. We're so glad to have you. Well, the sun's arising like a ball of fire. And I hope your heart's on fire today for the Lord. Let's continue on with having a heart of fire. In Psalm 36, verse 9, For with God there is a fountain of life, and in His light we shall see light. Yes, our God, the God who created heaven and earth, He is a fountain of life. He is a source of all life and light. And we need to keep coming to Him so we have life and we continue in the light. This week I've had the Word of God burning in my heart. And I know it will be a challenge for people. The Word is found in Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 13. I opened up the Bible and came to this place and just couldn't get away from it. So I began to meditate upon what Jeremiah the prophet wrote. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and have hewn themselves cisterns, broken cisterns, that will not hold water. That is, people have departed from the true source of life and tried to find life and meaning and purpose in so many other things. Whether it be riches, fame and success, yet they still feel empty. Last week we were talking about coming apart by yourself with Jesus, taking time from this noisy world with all its distractions and its many voices and to spend time with Him and see yourself getting refreshed. Personally, I do not want to be like one of those people that have forsaken the living God and to try and find pleasures in this world and be left empty. And often, as it says in uh, Acts chapter 3 and verse 19, Repent therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, that times of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord. I'm sure that God is calling His people to a deeper walk with Him. In Psalm 42 and verse 7, Deep calls to deep at the noise of the waterfalls. At the slightest thirst we have for God, God will reach down to that depth in our heart by the depth that's in His heart and cause us to bubble over with a flow. If the water in us has become stagnant, I believe we need a real flush out of the Holy Spirit. Remember what Jesus said, it's from the innermost being. It's from the innermost being that will flow a fountain, a river of living water. And this he spoke of the Holy Spirit. It's really up to us to build ourselves up, praying in the Holy Spirit, keeping ourselves in the love of God, and looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. How I love to do this, I like to get down the beach well before daylight, walking up and down, praying in the Holy Spirit. It can keep me fresh and alive in God. And waiting for the sun to come up, yes, I'm ready for church on the beach. I love this chapter in Isaiah, chapter 55. Ho! everyone who thirsts come to the waters and you who have no money come buy eat yes come buy wine and milk without money and without price why do you spend money for what is not bread and your wages for what does not satisfy listen carefully to me and eat what is good and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me. Hear and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. And show to you the sure mercies that I showed to my servant David. James 2.5 Listen my beloved brethren. Has God not chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him. Yes, it's a new day. It's a new day to draw near to God. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. 
Let's rise up like this beautiful sunrise and drink of the fountain of life and overflow with a new flow of the love of God.